how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros and it is now mid 2022 and if you're watching this video in 2023 then it is now mid 2023 <laughs> so that we stay with the times but long story short GPUs are in stock and they are pretty much hitting rock bottom MSRPs and we get asked every day what GPU should I buy? Should I wait? Should I buy one now? We're here to answer all those questions. He pretty much said everything I wanted to say but yes GPU prices are at an all-time low so you can build the gaming PC of your dreams that you probably wanted to build back in 2020. Well you know what you can do it now and we're gonna tell you which GPU to buy, but before we do that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you looking for a new gaming PC build? Well, today's video sponsor, Thermaltake, might have you covered with the Glacier 360 Liquid Cool Gaming PC, featuring awesome specs like the RTX 3060 and Ryzen 5 5600X, and of course, it runs nice and cool, being a liquid cool system with a ton of awesome other Thermaltake components. This PC is great for gamers and even streamers who are looking to improve their craft. We showcase this gaming PC here on the channel and we're very happy with its performance and aesthetics and you should definitely consider it by checking the link in the description down below. And special thanks again to Thermaltake for sponsoring today's video. So at the time of this video releasing, there is some rumors of some new budget cards coming out that might replace something like, I don't know, the 1050 Ti, but long story short, there's not a lot of budget GPUs in the market right now. From NVIDIA, you have the RTX 3050, which is their newest ray tracing cards. And yes, they still do make some 20 series, but we're only gonna really be focusing on the newer cards today from AMD and NVIDIA, from the RX to the RTX series. So we're gonna go ahead and start off low from AMD, and this is a card that really impressed us and really actually shocked us. So we we actually did a Dell Optiplex video, which I in the top right corner. Hopefully that video is live before this one. It I might not it be. Is. Yeah, but Matt thinks it is, so hopefully it is. We actually use a 6400 XT, which is a really interesting budget card because, well, they're under $200, and with 1650 level performance, that actually works in something old like a Dell Optiplex and does not require external power and it's low profile. You really can't go wrong with it. So absolutely insane card. We were playing Fortnite. We were able to even play some AAA titles and actually get decent FPS. And if we're talking about the low end for me, Nvidia, you're probably gonna have to go in the used market right now to find something that's somewhat close, like a 1050 Ti or 1050, but those cards are, one, really expensive, and they're gonna be used most likely, or they're gonna be scalped still, because there's still some scalpers out there holding on for dear life for the cards that they got with their bots, and it's not working out well for them. But anyways, those uh, cards from Nvidia, not a great option. You'll be spending a bit more, but in terms of budget, the 6400 is absolutely awesome, and it works great in those office PCs. Now, when we're talking about more mid-range cards, you're wanting to get into 1080p, 1440p, and you really wanna be able to run, let's say, medium to high settings, even on some AAA titles, we would really recommend the RX 6600 or the RX 6600 XT. They both perform really similar, in all honesty, and the 6600 is obviously cheaper because you take away the XT, you're really just losing a little bit of overclocked performance, is what I would argue, but the same amount of VRAM and really a lot of the other specs are very similar, but that card goes on sale for sometimes under $300 and it's pretty insane because you typically get four display outs and on top of that 1440p gaming for well under $300 is kind of crazy to think about right now. And the card that obviously Nvidia has in the mid range is you're starting to look at the 3050 and maybe 3060. 3060 you're still looking close to $500. You can find it sometimes on EVGA B stock which is an absolute great resource for you guys looking for graphics cards right now. But really we're talking about the 3050. The 3050 is well around 250 to 300 it does perform a decent amount worse than the 6600. So if we were to choose a winner of the best mid-range GPU, I definitely think the 6600 and 6600 XT would be the best buy if you're just purely gaming. And it's really a no-brainer. Buy that at $300 or less for the 6600. And even the 6600 XT sometimes can be 340 to 350. And at that price, it's still an awesome buy for 1080p and 1440p. And now that we talked about mid-range, we can kind of go towards the, we'll call it the high end, but realistically, these are all opinionated because in Matt and I's eyes, something like the 6600 XT is really a mid-range to high-end card, but I know for a lot of you, you're like, no, 6900 XT and 6950 and 6950 XT are like the high-end cards, but, well, we'd argue against that. But long story short, 6700 XT and the 6800, 6800 XT, those are also really, really good cards, and Honestly, I mean, you're getting like 12, 14, 16 gigs of VRAM. And on top of that, these cards can pretty much max out every game you throw at them. Uh, in my opinion, those are some amazing cards for the prices. And the 6700, like 6800, you're talking typically under $800 for either of those. Even the 6950 XT, we just saw a new egg for 1099, and that wasn't even like a sale or anything. That's just the normal price that we're kind of seeing even for an aftermarket card. So definitely nice to see these MSRPs coming down. Now on Nvidia's side, we have the 30 
3090, the not even the best card anymore. There's a 3090 Ti, but those cards are still well in excess of $1,000. At that point, you're not really getting the best return on your money. If you're looking for just raw performance right now, I think AMD has a very good argument to be made that they deliver the best FPS for your dollar right now. NVIDIA has a bunch of other cool features. I love NVIDIA and I love using an NVIDIA graphics card in my system, but in terms of raw performance for the dollar, AMD kind of has it covered across the range right now. But if you are going to buy an NVIDIA graphics card, the 3070 and 3070 Ti really go on sale a lot, whether the EVGA for the win three really nice RGB ones or from a bunch of different other board partners out there, that card goes on sale a lot at around 700 or less, especially the 3070 Ti. And that's a very high performing card. Most people don't need the 3080 or 38 Ti or anything beyond that. But there are a lot of sales on those 30 series cards because again, uh, there's news out there that NVIDIA is going to be releasing the new cards in Q3. So all this information is if you're watching it now in 2020, probably the month this video goes live, you probably want to buy a system right about now before pricing maybe will go up, but realistically, it's probably about the same because they're actually catching up on inventory now with stuff. But regardless, NVIDIA has some options, but I do have to give the crown to AMD right now for the best FPS for the dollar. So if we were to build a PC right now, Matt will do NVIDIA, I'll do AMD. In my honest opinion, I think something with the 6600 XT would be like my go-to just because of the fact that 1080p, 1440p, 8 gigs of VRAM, games like Warzone, Apex, Halo Infinite, you're talking 144 FPS even on medium high settings for some of those games and for me it's like what more could I really need. Um, now obviously if you want to get into streaming, Matt will talk about the NVENC encoder and what card he'd recommend. And it's a card I forgot to mention, the 3060 Ti has been going on sale for about $400 to $450, competes directly with that 6700 XT and that price is definitely much more fair for an NVIDIA graphics card. So if I were building a PC right now, one of the best bang for the buck, but I want an NVIDIA GPU, I'd probably go with the 3060 Ti. So if you guys want to pick up any of the graphics cards we mentioned in today's video, definitely check the link in the description down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And if you guys have any comments of your own or thoughts, let us know in the comments section. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. If you guys don't want to have to worry about the hassle of picking out a graphics card, trying to find the best deal, why don't you let us do it for you? PCBros.tech is where you can buy, also, I almost <laughs> said sell gaming PCs. Well, you know what? Yeah. This is the outro card. We do sell gaming PCs and we do not redo these. So buy gaming PCs from us and don't worry about all that graphics card gobbledygook. Use code ToastyBros2 and check out, save 2%. See you guys later. Goodbye. We don't redo these. We don't. <laughs> I'm so sorry, McAllister.